all right hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video i will be showing you how to run yolo v4 inference using the opencv dnn cuda module on linux so in my previous tutorial i showed you how to set up this opencv dnn module with cuda backend support so we built the opencv from source with cuda backend support you can head over to this article and install this OpenCV and then to run inference using this module we can use this script that I've given over here this is the same as the one for Windows we used earlier so okay let's get started this is a Python script again where I will be using the pre-trained Yolo v4 weights file for the MS Coco dataset. All right, and this is the config file. You can download both these from over here. You will find the CFG file inside this CFG folder. Yolo v4 tiny and Yolo v4 CFG, and the weights you can find over here under pre-trained models. We'll find all these weights, Yolo V4 weights, Yolo V4 tiny weights. You can download them from here. I already have them on my desktop. So I'll be using this. Now just one more thing. Uh, as you can see, uh, this has FP16 written over here. This FP16 represents half precision which only works for GPUs which have compute capability above 7.0 now since the compute capability for my GPU is 6.1 I won't be using it the CUDA architecture bin we saw this earlier you can find your compute capability here minus 6.1 and this half precision only works for GPUs with 7.0 and above compute capabilities so I'll be removing this from here and then for classes.txt obviously I'll be using the coco.names file which has the names of the classes in the MS Coco dataset again you can find all those over here alright this coco.names that is it okay you can download this from here I already have this script and all the other files on my desktop okay now you can change this to coco.names first let us run using the YOLO v4 weights I have removed the FP16 from here so now we will run this Python script from this virtual environment where we installed the OpenCVDN and CUDA module go to desktop Python as you can see the FPS for this is around 35 to 40 which is quite good this is Yolo V4 weights which are quite heavy obviously the accuracy is much better for this as you can see okay now let's test it for Yolo V4 tiny
Okay, so as you can see, the FPS for this is around 170, 180. This is very fast as compared to YOLO before. Now obviously, as I said, YOLO before weights are very heavy. The YOLO before tiny is very quick, and this is the recommended choice for real time scenario. Now I'm running this on a video, so it is very fast, but for real time scenario, obviously, this will be a little different. But it will be obviously much better than YOLO V4. So if you have any situation where you have to run this on a live feed in a real time scenario, I'd recommend using YOLO V4 Tiny. And if there is a case where you have to run this on a video and then save the output somewhere, you can use YOLO V4. That will obviously give you much better accuracy. All right, so that's it. We can use this OpenCV DNN CUDA module on object detection models trained from any framework. If you have trained your models using different frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch, etc., this will work with all object detection models. All right, you can read about that online. Basically, you just need to add these two lines and then you can run inference for those models as well. Now, for YOLO v4, it was giving quite good results as we just saw. Okay, so that's it for this video on how to run YOLO v4 inference using this OpenCV DNN CUDA module on Linux. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And alright, I'll see you in the next one.